already a little bit late. So just I'm going to tell you about uh, what I do. So why I am, it, is, it doesn't matter so much. So I am a researcher and I am doing research and I have just completed the PhD. And the research is about uh, how the companies outsource innovation and uh, uh, how companies tend to partnership with, uh, with each other and the other area I do research it is small and medium sized businesses in Finland and the side area is also the brain brain so these are the three areas I am revolving around and I am going to talk about brain brain in relationship with small and medium sized businesses entrepreneurship so I am going to connect these two things together and uh, uh, because uh, most of the researchers and scientists uh, they are very boring and people get so bored during the presentations so there will be seven points totally and you can count it so you will know that where I am and uh, how long I am going to bore you guys so you have a timeline that how long I am going to go and there are also some presidents in the world who believe that scientists are very boring and climate change is not real so let's leave that and uh, we will move towards the entrepreneurship and I, in my opinion I stop to see the precious portal of brilliant minds in Finland and so here I am and uh, someone told me when I arrived in Finland that if I will not snow, ice or cold weather uh, I will be integrated and here I am trying my best to be integrated in Finland and I don't know how much I am successful till today, but I am trying, you can see, very hard to be integrated in the Finnish society. And here is the concept. So if we consider that Finland is like this white portal with a beautiful flag, and there are a lot of brilliant minds that can be native Finns, that can be immigrant, origin people, and uh, they are just moving around in this portal and uh, they are ready to go up. Like uh, like a soda gas, they are going to go out and they are going to cause brain drain. So how we can stop it? Everyone is not going to get employed by the Finnish companies. And if we keep expecting that we are going to get employed and brain drain is going to be uh, entered by all the firms, it is, it is not going to happen in any country or even in Finland. So there is one stopper and a bottle cap you can see that is entertainment. And I believe that uh, if we want to grow, we have to somehow stop to this brain drain. And how we can stop the most friendly way is entrepreneurship. So this is this is the main concept in my mind. And if we go, so here is the point one. And as I told you that there will be seven point. So the first point is here, meaningful and shared line. So whenever uh, we are going to start the business, we are going to solve the brain drain. We have to remember these two things. The product should be meaningful, the product should be with a good tagline. What are these two things? If we compare what is meaningful versus profitable, whenever we start a company and we calculate how much money we are going to make. And we try, 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 and we calculate that if we sell 10 euro, we will earn 50 euro, and we keep going into that circle again and again. But no one and very less people think about the meaningful product. So meaningful product is that product that will change the people's life. And if we have that type of product, if some entrepreneur build that type of meaningful product, we are going to make the profit. But if we are going to Focus on profit, we are not going to change the world, we are not going to make so much money in the end, and we are not going to have a meaningful product. So try to focus as an entrepreneur or starter of the business to stop the brain and to make a meaningful product. Then the tagline versus storyline. And tagline is so important that uh, it can become the most important part of your product. Wherever your tagline is, uh, people recognize your product and uh, uh, this tagline should be very quick, very innovative and very short, four or five words maybe. But don't tell this whole story that our product do this, our product do that. No one is going to be interested in that. So it should be quick. So meaningful and good tagline. And 
what is the meaningful product if we think these are the meaningful products how they are meaningful products and according to the 2017 survey they have done with thousands of people and google is the meaningful product paywall is the meaningful product why is it the meaningful product how they are meaningful product why google is meaningful product because they have given information to every month they are not saying they are not going to give information to afnan and they are going to give information to yaya or raisa they have democratized it and they have really and they are changing the life 20 years before google was not so effective they just started and now here we are we can find everything paywall 30 years ago i quote i think many of the people wrote about it that someone went to western union and they told that California and the electronic transaction will be the future. Western Union said no, uh, uh, how, how it can possible. Wall Street said no, it is not possible. But Pay Paywall thought that it is possible. And today, Paywall is the meaningful thing. You can purchase anything anywhere without the cash money. So it is a meaningful thing. But sir, you don't need a phone card, like a paying bill, like before you dial the numbers and you have to pay every month. If you have an internet connection or free Wi-Fi, you can make a call. Then YouTube, how it is meaningful. Everyone can make their own channel. Before it was like, just you are watching TV and uh, if there is cartoon, you have to watch cartoon. If there is news, you have to watch news. Now everyone can make a content. It, it took before, like 30 years before, it took so much time to actors to become big actors. Now anyone can become. You can promote your products, you can give lectures, you can use for anything. So it is a meaningful product. Same like the other products. So these are meaningful products. One thing like they are meaningful, but now they are profitable also. So in the end of the day, when they made the meaningful product, now they are profitable product. Then what is the tagline? So I like food very much. So most of the examples will be uh, revolve around food in this presentation. So, guidelines, just two examples. I am loving it, just four words. Subway, just two words. Eat fresh, have it on your way, Burger King. Go on in, dedicated to people flow, four words. KFC, it's finger licking good, four words. Then the Tesla. So, how far can I go? And their goal is, that is also short. We are still there, the advent of sustainable transport. Then the Barcelona, they don't have like a tagline, but they have a very short goal, an English sustainable society with smart technology. So here we are with the very good taglines who made profit and were successful business. Second point, perfection. So whenever we start a business, we go towards so much towards, we have to be perfect, we have to be perfect. And during this process of perfection, we end up doing nothing. And we are always thinking like, okay, I will, I will do it after one month when my product will be more good and it will be more good. No, it is not like that. People start it and they launch it and then they make it perfect slowly, slowly, step by step. Otherwise, you will never able to do it. So the most important point is just to start it. It doesn't mean like you do like a crazy thing, but you don't have to be so perfect. What are the examples? Here are the examples. So, starting from the socket drive, the person who made the socket drive, if he has thought it like, I am going to make the micro SD card in 1990s, we, we should not have a micro SD card today. He didn't, he didn't wait for it. He made a socket drive that have 2 MB capacity. I still remember to use that in 90s and I have to transfer, I, have a, I used to have like a, a big floppy bag and I used to transfer few photos with 4 or 5 floppies. I still remember that. And then CD came, 45 form, 700 MB. It was a big revolution for me also. And as a child, I was thinking, okay, 700 MB. And then DVD, very good result, more space. And then this Kingston, 2 GB, 4 GB USB. And it was the game changer for all researchers, for all people, students, and people were so crazy. Like, okay, here we are with the USB and we can transfer anything. And then Hard drive transfer. You can have a external hard drive and you can have a many GB data. And then after that, 16 GB 
This card came in and we you can put it in camera, laptop, everywhere. And the maximum thing that came out of it as a perfection right now is 256 GB or more capacity, micro SD card. And I'm not going to take this towards the iClouds now, but uh, if we see the physical form and we see the journey from floppy drive to micro SD card, it is a very good journey and no one thought about the perfection in the end. Okay, at that time it was a very good thing, but no one waited for it and things keep improving. Third point, always remember DTV. If you want to stop brain drain, if you want to make a company, these three things are most important things. This is what I say, this is research says, this is many 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 of the books everywhere these three things are the core all the companies that i talked about they are expert in these things and always remember like these three things are going to be side by side always design technology business you can have a good design but bad technology bad business you are the thing you can have a good technology good business but bad design you are nothing so you can have a big good business model, you have a market or safe people, but bad design, bad technology, you are nothing. So these three things are going to be side by side always. Always, always you pay attention to DTB. So it, it, it will really help you develop a product, a good business model. How evolution of DTB work? How these things keep improving? So if we have at the first step these three things very good and intact and we think we are perfect we are not perfect because these three things keep evolving if we will not evolve then we are going to end up with nothing so keep evolving these three things really and this this theory this is very famous right now dynamic capabilities i am not going into research scientists i am going to tell you the practical way how they are using the theory in the companies right now and they are doing more research on it so dynamic capabilities means you you keep changing 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 you don't stuck on one place if you stuck on one place your company is dead so keep changing keep seeing the things and keep evolving in the dynamic evolution so here is another food example hamburger so I will quickly go through this cycle that here is the hamburger evolution and you see in 1900 most of you know that maybe hamburger is word right from Hamburg, city of Germany. So 1900 there was only a Hamburg state that was very famous, they served with uh, potatoes and there was no burger existed at that time. So that Hamburg state was transferred to New York, when a lot of immigrants keep moving from Germany, Hamburg port, there were everyday cruises used to go and many of the Germans moved there for better life to New York port. And they landed in New York and there, there was one restaurant, it, it, it still is there, Louis Lunch. And in 1900, there was some one customer, he came to him and he was in so much hurry and he don't have at that time plastic bags or anything. People used to come, they eat in plate. So the person told him, I am very much dry and I need something to take away with me. And he didn't see anything and he found two slices. He put that steak in the slices and gave it to him and he does it. And how, this is how the first burger formed. And then in 1934, you can see this is how people are taking orders, giving orders, sitting outside the restaurant in the car. And you can see like it is not so friendly process, maybe it took two hours to eat one burger and you have to wait for your turn, waiter will come, she will not come, she is not in good mood. But anyway, so in 1934 things were like this with the burger. And then in 1935 there was some burger, Humpty Dumpty burger, they introduced the first cheese burger. So you can see the innovation part. The point I want to highlight that how things are traveling. And then 1940 McDonald's formed. McDonald's was the most efficient clean process and hygiene process and they were trying to give burger in one to three minutes and it was really a hit like no one imagined this before and uh, you don't need plates you don't need anything you don't need parking it is a quick window thing and it is cheap then in and out burger 
uh, develop the first drive through. And you can see it is a simple drive through. And after that, McDonald combined drive through and uh, their technological innovation of fast burger thing. And in 1950s, you can see the title of the McDonald. It, it, it didn't exist before. So McDonald was the first one and now in 2019. So what's the most important thing? Most important thing, things keep evolving, but only that company got most benefit who evolved. That hamburger said people they didn't make McDonald's, then Lewis Hunt, he's not able to make it. Then the Humpty Dumpty burger, they were they are not McDonald's. Then the in out burger still they are made, but they are not McDonald's. Who evolved? McDonald's evolved. They modified the process, they clean and provide the hygiene process and they modified it and they keep evolving their design, technology and business. They have paid attention to three of the things. So here is the evolution and example. And if we see, this is what happens when you don't pay attention to day to day. If you don't pay attention, this is going to happen. Ultimately, your companies are going to appear and disappear in the top. 10 or 15 ranking. So, so here you can see just in two minutes what's going on with the companies. And keep noticing this sign that what's going on from 2000 to 2018. The companies who didn't pay attention to detail. <laughs> Here we go, Apple is in. So, you can see <laughs> very well, like, it was very interesting journey and how Apple took over everything, then the Google, then Amazon, then Microsoft, Coca-Cola, Samsung, and Nokia disappeared. And why it disappeared, you have the answer now. Always focus on D, A, B. So, keep evolving, keep evolving. Keep improving your design, keep improving your technology, keep improving your business. You can't be blind for any of these three factors. So the fourth point. So I told you there will be seven points. So we are already on the fourth. So boil down the ideas. When, when you are going to make some idea, some product or something, try to boil down the ideas. So break down things to the concept, to the basic level. You want to make a product, just think like, what, how the things work and go to the bottom of that idea and uh, try to find something new and I will explain you what is the meaning of boil down the ideas. This is the meaning of boil down the ideas. You can see three lines, four lines, you can see upper line Uber, uh, second line Amazon, third line Tesla, then Airbnb. How, how they have boiled down the ideas? Just look at the Uber concept. Everyone was focusing, try to make company, bigger company, with more and more taxi and compete in the market. Uber boiled on the idea. They said that, okay, make every car taxi. And 
they they disrupt the market this was a disruptive innovation then lift followed bolt followed and these are three of the biggest companies right now if you see they have made uber as everyone car can be a taxi so they boiled down the basic idea to the maximum no one was thinking at that time that everyone was trying to find more loans car companies are trying to find more loans from banks to have more and more cars and bigger companies but they made every car and they didn't buy any car so it is the boiling down the idea amazon ebay aliexpress similar companies how they boiled down the ideas in 30 years before if you want to start a business you have to buy a shop you have to rent a shop you have to make a counter you have to do the decoration you have to buy any product you have to invest a lot and then you are able to sell the product and it will take 10 years 20 years to make the profit so what they have done they made everyone retailer you can sell your product online sitting anywhere in the world they have boiled down the basic idea you don't need a shop you don't have to pay the rent in zero dollar you can open your shop if you have a talent you can sell anything boil down the ideas they boil down the ideas third one tesla everyone was looking into the things 15 years and years that how to make a good diesel engine how to make a good benzene engine how to make a good uh, uh, petrol engine but that's the point of the idea they said that okay why why we don't have something we don't need petrol we don't need benzene boiled down the ideas so they boiled down the ideas they don't need benzene anymore they don't have to pay attention that how the engine efficiency work they made the car which don't need uh, all of these energy fuels then airbnb people were going to rent hostels expensive and cheap hotels hotel industry was booming and uh, people were making and the big groups were making more and more buildings but airbnb what they have done they boiled down the ideas and they made each home hotel and uh, now it is hard to compete now they are big company they have faced a lot of criticism but today they have boiled down the ideas and they are the winners same with the flippy they is a similar product then the smart car did the similar product they started with benzene car now they are fully electric so they they have all these companies have the common thing they have boiled down the ideas and then fifth point always listen to the negative feedback uh what is the human nature we don't want to listen to the things that we don't like and uh, then if we listen to even the bad youtube comments on our video uh there are 100 good comments but if we see one bad comments who is it okay no 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 life is over no always listen to the negative feedback okay there is some trolling also and someone can be doing like bullying but there is a real negative feedback that you have to listen and then you can move further and you can move ahead so listen to the negative feedback and develop yourself according to that six point innovation and technology i am talking about innovation and technology again and again and this is my sixth point that these both things are together hand in hand hand in hand innovation and technology both of them required hard work if we think like we will wake up in the morning and we will have a innovative product no it is not going to happen it is it is required so much hard work then innovation not happen automatically if we have a good company let's see whether our products are successful and we think like now we are making money uh, let's forget about anything and just enjoy golf or swimming in a very nice place and that's it no your competitor are going to take over you soon so innovation does not happen automatically you have to do it then it is never ending process it is a never ending process till the day it is never ending process and the company who follow this and who believe in this it is a never ending process they are going to be successful otherwise degradation is the fate otherwise no one can stop you to degrade your company to degrade and then be positive and i will give you a short story and after that i will end this and it is the final and last point so there was a boy who was working in a very warm country and uh, uh, in a very good company and suddenly he moved due to some reason to a country which was very cold and it was minus 30 degree temperature and he didn't have any work and he was thinking like things are going to be easy because he lived abroad in other countries also but things were not so easy 
it was so cold and after one month he ended up with the money and he didn't have money and he tried to find a job and the only job he found to deliver some ads or some advertisement in minus 43 degree where we never lived before and he was taking all these papers one day uh, or you can say one night and uh, on the ice he slipped all the papers spread on the road and he was thinking okay this is the end of the world and why I am here I was uh, having a very good time and uh, uh, who, who told me to here, come here and it was mixture of rain and snow everywhere and then he collected the paper he stand the bike there and because he didn't have money to buy umbrella so he sit under one shed and he was sitting and thinking that, oh, oh what, what happened to me? And there is one old man in his 70s, he came and he gave him two euros. And this was the most shocking thing for that boy. Because that old man thought that he looked like he, that old white man. He thought that he didn't look like me. He looked like some beggar or he is some homeless guy. And maybe he needed money. And he gave him money and that boy... Uh, was so angry that why he gave me two euros and he gave back me two euros and he told us I am not better, I am here not for two euros while I was just working and that old man took two euros and he gone. But that was a shocking experience for that boy. He came back home and he thought about it, he went into the shower and he thought about it. Then, uh, then after five, ten minutes he started to smile. He found the positivity in this whole incident and what was the positivity? Maybe that old man never has seen anything. Maybe that old man never had experience or that how the things were. He was in 70s most probably. That boy was in that type of area where there were no immigrants. So he tried to help me. He was thinking I was cold. He tried to give me two euro. Two euro is enough for coffee. So then he started to think it in a positive way. And when he started to think in a positive way and found the negativity and the uh, 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 positivity from the negativity that is the start of the development. Don't find things that are unnecessary. You are going to waste your time in those things. In small small negativities and it, it, it can also possible that that, that, oh, that boy can go to some newspaper and make a story and put a cover picture. Oh that old man thought I am this, this, this but I am uh, not this and there will be a glamorous story, but what's in the end? There is no, no personal development. So try to find positive things even in the negative things. So this is, this is the message and here is that boy. Few months, someone told him to go to Finland and he searched it and he wanted to get education. And he got admitted in an innovation related degree in 2012. And here he is trying to look for the buy for 50 euro because he didn't have money. So he can deliver the ad. And in 2019, here is that same boy, and he got the PhD degree. He completed the master, he completed the PhD, and I am not going to tell that uh, that uh, my story is impressive. No one cares. So, but main thing is, uh, I try to be positive about the things, and then things get to work out. You are more intelligent than me. I believe in that, and you can do better than better than me. So here is the example a very little example but still you have to be positive in all situations even in the worst situation these are the key points and uh, because presentation started 10 minutes later so sorry for that so today seven point lesson meaningful and tagline first point perfection not needed always just target design technology and business always pay attention to design technology and business. Boil down the ideas. Boil down the ideas. If you want to make a product, boil down the ideas. Try to argue, question the things around you. Feedback. Try to be open to feedback and improve because of that. Innovation and technology. These are going to be hand in hand always. Innovation and technology. Innovate and connect it with technology. Technology and innovation. Be positive. Be positive. Be positive. And things will happen ultimately because Life is so short, if you spend so much time on negativity, nothing is going to happen. And in the last message, consistency is the key. So it is my apartment key, so consistency is the key. So here, thank you very much everyone and for your time. And I will be here for whole day, I am here. And you can ask the question now and 
during the session or after the session. And if you want to contact me for something, I am here to help you. Thank you very much. रिसर्च डेवलपमेंट इनोवेशन की इस वीडियो सीरीज में आप डिफरेंट किस्म की इन्फॉर्मेशन हासिल कर सकते हैं अगर आपके भी कोई सवाल रिसर्च डेवलपमेंट इनोवेशन एक्टिविटीज़ से मुतलिक हैं तो प्लीज़ आप कमेंट्स में लिखें और उसके मुतलिक हम नेक्स्ट वीडियोस में डिस्कस करेंगे थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग